What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rockwin. Today we're in episode number six. We've just basically completed everything with Kisa Woro. Um, I do have a couple new marbles that I need to give to Sue, who I think is going to probably be the next person in uh, the playthrough. So um, let's see how it goes. Brought you something new. We gave Sue the Celestial Marble. It's the Starland Pillow Fort Planet. I can't believe you found it. It's so beautiful here. There are so many stars on this planet, twinkling in the sky and all around you just like rock candy. It does get really cold though. But you can build forts out of blankets and couch cushions and pillows. Last time I was there, I built a castle out of pillows and this special quilt that had magical patches. It was warm and safe inside. Wow, a whole castle? My mom taught me how to build forts in my room so that I could hide there in case of danger. Because here on this planet, no one can hurt you. You're totally safe here. It's like having a sleepover with your friends, but all the time. Thanks again for bringing this back to me. Okay, was that it? Okay, we had the flower. I was going to say, I thought we had two. You give the flower marble to Sue. Oh, it's my flower marble. This marble is so special to me. The last time I was here, I found a floating island in the sky. It was covered with grass and flowers. The flowers were all different colors. Some were big, some were small. It smells so good there. Were there any blue ones? Yes, lots. There's this one blue flower that looks like a really big dandelion puff, but each puff has lots of tiny blue flowers on it. There are blue roses too. Let's go to go there together sometime. We can climb to the top of the island and lay down in the flowers and watch the sky. The island moves with the wind, so an hour will go by and suddenly we'll be over a completely new place. Okay, so we finished that. Now we just need to figure out exactly um, who's for sure next. Let's see if mom will give us a hint. If Uma's right about those water pumps, if they really do drain more than just the water that used to be in the hospital, well, is there anyone else you still need to help? Someone that perhaps you couldn't reach before? Uh, okay. So then it, she's telling me that the water in the, the world should be drained in some areas. So then I should be able to reach someone new in here that's what I'm getting out of it so let's see let's see what we find I do want to explore the village a little bit though I mean there's this like pastry shop and I don't really remember if I've been in I think that's Panky right hey buddy you look stressed out I am Star Knight is almost here, but I'm nowhere near ready. I'm the village chef, which means I'm responsible for all the Star Knight food. I have to prepare pancakes for the pancake eating contest. Bake another 10 pies. Collect silaberries for the silaberry juice. Hey, if you could bring me 40 silaberries, it would be so much easier. What do you say? Sure. Thanks, buddy. You can find silaberry bushes scattered around the forest. I need 40 of them. How many do I have? I have 50. So I'm already done with that part. You came through. You gave Panky the silaberries. Thanks to you, there'll be plenty of silaberry juice for everyone. When it's time for Star Knight, talk to the chief and he'll walk over with you. Cool. Okay. And then... I don't know that I've been in this art shop either. It's Cora. You Okay, you look stressed out. Don't get me wrong, I love making paper lanterns for the Star Knight Festival. It's just that I'm running behind and I'm afraid I won't finish them in time. Do you think you could help gather materials for me to make lanterns? I need five reeds for the paper and six fireflies for the light. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. The reeds look like the ones I have in the vase down there. They go around the water. Catching the fireflies might be a bit tricky. I usually get a jar from Pinky's assistant to catch them with. This is going to be the best and most beautiful Star Knight ever. Okay. So, we need to get a jar, 
from the assistant in here. And then we need to go collect reeds. Oh, I'd like a jar. Okay, so we got the jelly jar. And I remember seeing those reeds down here. And let's see what we can do. See, there's some over there. But I think they said the fireflies were over here, right? Yeah, they're here. Okay. So let's see if we can catch. Okay, we got one. We got two. There's two there. And they needed six of them, right? Just keep an eye out. Okay, so we can't go any farther there. But we can bust that rock now and see what's in those chests underneath. Okay, the fire, there has to be some more fireflies somewhere else, and I'm sure that I'll come across it at some point. Let's see what's in these chests. Airplane sky scene, 20 gold. Okay. I'm guessing that's like an after achievement or something. Fine by me. I'm not trying to 100% the game or anything like that, but it doesn't seem like it's too difficult to task. Maybe there's more fireflies in the other area to the left. I could be wrong, or they could be in caves, which I'm not going to go back through just to get the fireflies. Okay, so we needed some reeds. Okay. And then this was the cave with the dragon in it. Just out of curiosity, let's see what else there is. Does it look like... I don't know that I went this way. Oh, that's not even a... It's not a direction I can go. Okay. Um, I don't see any fireflies, though. Okay, so there's some more reeds here. We haven't been down this way. What are you looking at? There's nothing to see here, nothing at all. Is that another firefly? It is. Okay. So we only need two more. Two more fireflies. Oh wait, that was a reed. Almost missed these reeds. Okay. Okay, I forget exactly how many they said we needed, but we got four fireflies and five reeds. I think they needed like six reeds or something. So we probably should be able to find our last few pretty soon. Although I don't see anything in this area. Okay. So, then there's probably gonna be others in other places. There's a firefly. Okay, so then we're good with fireflies. And we're just needing reeds. There they are. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all, actually. Alright. That was manageable. And I think I saw another firefly over here. Alright. So, there we go. Okay, so now we need just need to return back to the village. And then we're good. We can turn that in to see what we get with that. 
And I'm a little sidetracked. I know we're supposed to be helping Sue, right? But... In the meantime... In the meantime, we can complete these little things. Just because it's part of it. And just because we can. Why not? Alright, so let's go this way. Let's finish these. Wow, you brought everything. Thank you so much. You give Cora the reeds and the fireflies. Now, Star Knight will be a, as bright as it was meant to be. When it's time for Star Knight, talk to the chief and he'll walk over with you. Okay. Alright, so we got that part done. Let's see what she says. Uh, do drain more than just the water that used to be in the hospital. Someone else perhaps you couldn't reach before. Was it? I think it was over here in the top left, right? Because it was the ghost of the friend, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. There we go. So now we're progressing here. Here we go. I know she's waiting for me. I feel so bad. Sue, wait. I wish I could remember where we were supposed to meet. But I can't remember much of anything anymore. She was counting on me. Who was counting on you, Sue? My friend. She needed someone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to love her. I promised that we'd take care of each other, but I broke that promise. I have to find her. We'll find your friend, Sue. I promise. Thank you. So she dropped a bell or something. She dropped this. What do you think it's for, Mom? Mm, I'm not sure. But when I was a little girl, I used, to, I used a ribbon with a bell on it just like this as a pet collar. A pet collar? Yep, the noise from the bell helped us find our cats and dogs when they were hiding. And it made it harder for them to catch birds and mice. Mom, look. It says Poochie on the side. Okay. Mm, that name seems familiar. You received Poochie's bell. Okay. I wish I could remember where we were supposed to meet. She was counting on me. Okay. So... Now what? Oh shit. Okay, finally found it. Poochie. Mom, look. She's sniffing the bell we picked up back there. Are you Sue's friend? Do you want us to take you to her? I think she wants to follow us. She seems like such a sweet dog. We'll take you back to your friend, little one. Let's go. Okay. So now we just have to go back. So we have to just take the doggy back. Pooch. Poochie. That, that name makes sense now. Okay. Before I was a little skeptical. I was like, what are they trying to say? I can't think of anybody who wants their name to be Poochie. Just saying. Alright, so now we should be able to take a little bit of progress. Here we go. There we go. Sue, Sue, we found your friend. We found Poochie. Sue? Mom, where did she go? I'm not sure, dear. Oh, open the door. Okay. Wow, Poochie. Thanks. And now he's just gonna. Oh, I was like, is he just gonna bounce? He's just gonna take off now, but he's gonna follow us. All right.
Okay. Oh god, we're playing as the dog. Yuki, but aren't you hungry? I am, but you know I can't go home right now. Well, okay. But just don't catch a cold. It's getting chilly these days. I'll try my best. See you later, Yuki. Alright. Where are we supposed to go? It's a crosswalk. We can't go that way. Okay. What is that? Oh. Oh, it's a dog facing away. I was so confused for a second there. Okay. Oh my gosh, a stray dog just wandered into the office. Someone call animal control. Uh... <laughs> Taken off. Alright. I just, I'm not sure where exactly they want me to go. And what they want me to do. Hey pup, did you find any food? Not yet. Say, who was that cat who just followed you into the alley? You mean Looney? Real sweet black cat, bright yellow eyes. She's actually not a stray. She has a really nice owner and lives in the apartments around here. But she still hangs out with us. That's rare, you know? Most domestics don't want to mess with our kind. Looney's different. I know, I don't have any food for you yet, but would it be alright if I went into the alley just for a bit? I have a message for Looney. It's about her owner. He okay? He's really worried about her. I guess she didn't come home last night. Hmm. Okay, you seem like an honest pup. I'll let you back there just for a bit to talk to Looney. Thank you. I really didn't think that I was going to be able to get back there until I got food, but I guess... I was overthinking that. <clears throat> Looney's a black hat right up there. Go ahead and deliver your message. I'll wait for you here. Hello, Looney. I am, um, well, I just saw your owner. And uh, he seemed really upset or really, really worried about you. He said you didn't come home last night. Oh, no. I was afraid he'd worry. You see, I don't usually stay away from home this long, but I... But this was an emergency. My best friend's owner passed away, so he's really sad and needs my company right now. Oh, Looney, I don't want your owner to worry. You've already been such a great help to me during this time. You should go back to him. I'll be fine now. Kenny, are you sure? I'm sure. I think I need it some time anyway. I'll come back every day, just as I always do because you're my best friend. You're my best friend too, Looney. Thank you for letting me know about this. Do you think you could take me to my owner? Okay. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's head out. Doggy, I'm really sorry, but I can't let you. Looney? Looney, is that you? Oh, Looney, I thought something awful had happened to you. Is this doggy your friend? Thank you for bringing my cat back to me. I'm so relieved she's okay. Come here, I got something for you. That's how we get the food. To say thank you, why don't you have some of this fish cake? And we received fish cake. Take care, little one. There we go. So now we can give that to him. Oh my goodness, that heavenly scent. Is that fish cake? You can have it if you like. Give it to him. Hope you enjoy it. We're going to enjoy it together. Come on, pup. You're one of us now. Oh my god, look at all that stuff. Tonight we have a very special treat. Courtesy of our new friend, Poochie. Is that fish cake? Fish cake. And I must say, champ, you did an amazing job as well. The baker's wife gave me all their leftovers because I ate a squirrel that was destroying her garden. Bravo. There are enough donuts here to start our own bakery. A cat and dog bakery, that'll be the day. Welcome to the first official Tokyo Cat and Dog Bakery. Ha ha ha. Okay, everyone, let's eat. Okay. Now what? 
Are we gonna get introduced to Sue at some point? Where is that dog? Oh god, animal control. The boss said sh she'd be right by the elementary school. Let me check the orders again. Oh crap. There she is. Get her. Okay, pup, you're coming in with us now. She's awfully calm for a stray, isn't she? Yeah, she's a nice dog. It's a shame no one no one will adopt her. Too many too mangy. Such a forlorn look on her face. Kinda reminds you of Hachiko, doesn't she? Yeah, you're right. A big mangy Akita like Hachiko wouldn't last too long in today's Tokyo. Such a shame. They'll probably put her down in seven days like all the others. Wait. You can't put her down. Aw, oh, I'm sorry little girl. I know it sounds really sad, but there's just too many stray dogs and not enough homes. No, I mean, you can't put her down because... Because... Because she's my dog. She's your dog? Yes. What's her name? Her name... Her name is Poochie. Poochie? Poochie, did you sneak outside again? I told you to stay in the yard. I see. And where is Poochie's collar? Oh, uh... Well, you see, she keeps taking it off because it's too tight. Mom's been meaning to get her a new one. One that fits, but... She works full-time, so she's really busy. Okay, but please be careful that your fence is dog-proof next time. If the dog gets out, it's very dangerous. For people as well as for the dog. I understand, sir. It won't happen again. Keep an eye on her. I will, sir. I promise. Phew, that was a close one. I can't believe they were going to put you down. Such a nice and beautiful dog like you. I just couldn't let that happen. Mom and Dad would never let me keep a dog as a pet. But that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Oh, you must be so hungry. I actually have some leftovers from lunch that you can have. But we should probably go someplace safer. Come on, I have just the place. Okay, Poochie. Today I want to show you my favorite place. See this tree? I call it the lonely tree. Why do I call it that? Well, it's all by itself. It's too tall to talk to the grass. It doesn't have a whole lot in common with the bushes. There just aren't any other trees here. It needs someone to talk to. Oh, don't worry. The tree isn't lonely when I'm here, and I come here a lot. It's my favorite place. When it's hot, the tree gives me shade. When I'm scared, it lets me hide in its branches. When we talk together and just hang out, or we talk together and just hang out, it's nice, you know? Anyways, since I walk by here every day after school, do you want this to be our meeting place? I'll save part of my lunch for you, and we can play games together. How does that sound? It's a deal, then. I gotta go home now, but... Here's some food for you. That's some food? I wasn't that hungry today, so there's a lot left. Hope you enjoy. See you tomorrow, Poochie. Okay, so their meeting place was a tree. Okay, Poochie. Now it's my turn to hide. Close your eyes. We're really gonna do hide and seek? Are they closed for reals? Nope, closed for fakes. Okay then, count to ten. All right, I'm gonna skip to that. You're never gonna find me. Okay, so we seriously have to play hide and seek. At least it's not a very big area. Did we find her? Yay, we found her on the first freaking guess, okay. Now it's your turn to hide. Do we get to choose? Tell us about your marbles, Sue. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Sue. 
<clears throat> Tell us how you think they're actually little planets. She thinks they're planets? Huh, yeah. I don't want to take them out of the jar right now. Why? Will all the little aliens spill out? Ha ha ha. She's such a weirdo. I don't like taking them out at school. No. You don't want to take them out because they're just plain old marbles. They're not just marbles. So she admits it. She thinks her marbles are planets. She's crazy. Leave me alone. Come on, Sue. Let us see your planets. Get away from me. You go, Poochie. <clears throat> Get your scary stray dog away from us. Oh, Poochie. Thank you. People don't always like you when you're different. Maybe it's just how it is. Like how cats and dogs don't get along. What's that, Poochie? You used to hang out with cats and they wanted to start a dog and cat bakery? Wow, that's really cool. I'd eat, a, I'd eat at a place like that. Oh my god, okay. Poochie, today I want to show you where I live. No, Poochie. Sorry, girl. It's just that you can't bark around here or we could get in trouble. Thanks for understanding. Well, this is my home. I really wish I could show you my room, but Dad's home right now. He gets pretty angry if he's... <sighs> Sorry. If he's napping and someone wakes him. He came home late last night because he was out playing this grown-up game. That's why she was talking about gambling. I knew there had to be something about that. You know, the kind of game where you drink grown-up drinks and lose a lot of money. I don't like those games. But don't worry. I still have lots of cool things I can show you in the yard. Like, see over here? Earlier this year, some morning doves made a nest in the bushes. See how low to the ground it was? I came and checked on them every morning before school. And one day, the babies flew away. Oh. Hmm, where did I put it? Here it is. See how much this rock looks like a duck? What the hell is this? Calm down, dear. I needed to wash your clothes. I, I told you not to move my things. Dad's awake. Come on, Poochie. We gotta go. Follow me. Quick, Poochie. In here. That was close. We can hide here until things calm down. Oh, we're back at the playground then. Okay, so that's kind of like our hiding spot. Want to look at my marble collection? I don't have a the whole jar with me, but I have a few new ones in my pocket. When I have to hide, I like to choose a marble and make a new world. Will you make a new world with me, Poochie? Let's see, how about this one? I found this marble at the base of the lonely tree, and it's the color of amber. It made me think the tree was giving me a present. I think this planet has a really big tree in it. The tree is so big that everyone lives there together. Inside the tree, there's a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. And the tea room is upside down so you can walk on the ceiling. Your tea won't even fall out of the cup. Of course you can sit at the table with me and share my food. You want to make up another world? Okay, what will yours be like? A cat and dog bakery planet? That's a great idea. Okay, so she's upset. Poochie. He left. 
He just took all his things and now he's gone. He didn't even say goodbye. Poochie, do you think he was a bad person? Do you think he left because he didn't care? Was he afraid? Did he not love us anymore? Poochie, I made you something today. It's your very own collar. I used pink ribbon and a bell I got from school. That way everyone will know that you have someone who loves you and wants to take care of you. I'll always be there for you, Poochie, I promise. Oh, I don't think this collar is going to be long enough. That's okay. I have more ribbon at home so I can fix it later. Okay, Poochie, I gotta go early today. Gotta help Mom with some stuff. But I'll see you tomorrow. Poochie, you're my best friend. And now he wait. Now she she waits. I should say. We can't go yet, Mom. I have to talk to my friend. I know moving is a scary thing, but trust me, Sue. You'll make new friends. I don't want to make new friends. This is my best friend, and she needs me. I can't just leave her. I don't understand why we have to move anyway. Can't I just go to the doctor here? We're going to Sendai to stay with your uncle and aunt because it's closer to the kind of medical care you need. Sue, I know it's difficult, but your father is not here anymore. Practically speaking, it's just too expensive for us to live here. Then can I bring my friend with me? For the last time, no. Now please, Sue, get in the car. Poochie, I'm so sorry. That's sad. Again. Every single one of these stories has been freaking sad. It's just like in the freaking movies, you can kill 10,000 people, but as soon as a freaking dog gets hurt, everybody starts crying. Mom, where are we? I'm not sure, sweetie. It feels cold and really empty. I know, dear. It's probably best if we keep walking. Wait, what the hell is this? It's a backpack? It's Uma. Uma? What are you doing here? I failed her. Who? I don't know why I'm still here, boy. After all the bad things I've done, I don't deserve to still be walking these paths. I had a life. I had a vice. Maybe I don't know what I had at the time and I ran away from my problems in the most cowardly way a man can. Hold the fuck up. Is that... Is he Sue's dad? Is that what I'm getting from this whole friggin' thing? They needed me. Sue needed me. So now, I spend my days wandering these worlds in hopes that I can find something. Anything. To make this pain go away. Did you take care of her while I was away? You took care of each other. She's strong, isn't she? Maybe you can't change the past, but you can still do something for her, Uma. What's that? Let her know that you do that you love her and that you always did. 
even when it didn't seem that way. Thank you, boy. Well, I think the time has come for me to close these, to cross these worlds. It's been a real pleasure. Goodbye. Poochie? Poochie? I'm so sorry for leaving you. I remember now. You waited for me by the tree near our old home. I wanted to meet you there. I wanted to so badly. Thank you for understanding, girl. I'll never leave you again. I promise. Are we about to get another song? Sounds like it. Promise we can meet underneath the lonely tree. When I had no one, you cared about me. When we were far apart, I always knew. Mori no Kokoro Part 4 Goodbye Sue So why is he like half Like transparent and stuff Alright so we've helped 4 out of 5 Danielle Hey You guys are still here Hi Danielle Since you're still here you should come join us for Star Night tonight Thank you What's Star Night again? Only the biggest celebration of the whole year. It's basically the best. Trust me. Okay. When it's time for Star Night, talk to the chief and he'll walk over with you. See you soon. Okay. Alright. So... That was basically the end of Sue's section. So then we really only have one more to go. I know that this episode will probably be shorter than the rest, and I don't know how much time this Star Knight section takes, or you know, what it is, or if it leads just into the last part, but I think I'll save that for the next episode, which could be one of the last, if not the last, depending. Um, so let me go ahead and save here and thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i'm loving this game so far i know that we're getting a little bit closer to the end like i said but um i'm really interested to see how it ends it's been a roller coaster ride of emotion and just um unexpected surprises which is always nice um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. I do tend to respond to every single one that I can. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you guys in episode number seven. So I will see you guys in the next one. Catch you later.